Welcome to my new video. In this episode of The Legend Portrait, we're talking about Camp Low, the famous MC duo from the Bronx, New York. The group consists of Geechee Suede, alias Saladin Wallace, and Sonny Chiba, alias Salahadin Wilds. Until my research for this video, I didn't even know their real names, so... You see, even a bugged-out freak like me can still learn more about my favorite craft called hip-hop. I picked Camp Low, because to me personally, Camp Low is my favorite rap duo of all times, besides Outkast. Actually, this is the first worldwide English-spoken documentary about Camp Low. My last video, the documentary about MC8, is also the first ever documentary about the Compton MC. Make sure you subscribe for more exciting videos about your favorite rappers and rap groups from the 90s. You ready? Then let us start. First of all, it's shocking how little information is floating around this group on the internet. I couldn't even find their birth dates. Isn't that some crazy shit? That means it was so much harder to find some accurate info about them dudes in general. Even worse, there is absolutely no information about what went on in their lives before 1995. That's bogus. There is nothing about their childhood or juvenile times, nothing. It's almost like they had been beamed on Earth in 1995 and straight delivered their outstanding rap, fashion, and music style to the world. Aliens, maybe. I even tried to contact them over Twitter and Instagram, but no answer. So let us rather turn to the things I could find out about Camp Low. Camp Low was officially formed in 1995. Their main producer has always been Ski Beats, a.k.a. David Anthony Willis. The first ever song the public was allowed to hear was dropped as a video single at the end of 1995, Cooley High. The song is contained on the movie soundtrack, the Great White Hype, peaking at number 25 on the billboards, sliding to number 62. Second single, Lucini, or This Is It, dropped in August of 97 and peaked at 50 of the top 100. The song even made it to the UK's top 100. It will become their biggest hit in the group's history and will not be surpassed till this day. The debut album, Uptown Saturday Night, was released on Profile Records on January 1997. The third single is Black Nostal Jack and is released during 1997. The LP contains 15 songs. To me, it is one of my top five albums of 1997, so it's quite hard for me to tell you anything negative about this long player. But to keep it fair, I simply liked some beats more than others. My favorite song on the album has always been number 10, Say Word. What immediately took the listener's attention was their completely own style, the crazy flows, their own vocabulary, and even dress code. The whole atmosphere they provided simply said, aliens. Their rhyme patterns also stand for themselves, appearing mostly unstructured, but in fact, the unstructured appearance seems to be one of their main structures. No matter how you turn it, these guys are dope. Sound and vibe are a mix of 70s disco funk, jazz, soul, and East Coast rap. Some of their songs even are best described as bi-coastal, because sometimes it's not easy to decide if it sounds like East or West Coast sound. A very own sound, but also very dope. Simply said, real originals. Back then, but today even more, with all acts sounding alike, Until their next release in 2001, Camp Low is only featured on a few releases. For example, appearing on the Orange Juice Jones single, Poppin' That Fly Shit, from the Nothing to Lose soundtrack, as well as on the song Yes Yes Y'all by Will Smith, released on his first solo album, Big Willie Style, in 1997. By the way, is this his first appearance under his real name, before he was always known as The Fresh Prince. Camp Low also appears on the De La Soul song So Good in 2000. 
finally in 2001 their second release, the Short Eyes EP, was released. It contained five new songs and one instrumental. It couldn't keep up the album's commercial successes and stayed under almost everyone's radar. In May 2002, album two named Let's Do It Again drops. Singles are Glow, the B-side is Gorilla Pimp, Gotcha, and Black Connect 2. In admiration of their so original and own style, the listener strongly reminded of the first album. Album 2 is like a sequel to Album 1, staying totally true to their style. But the next five years are going to be hard for the fans because no new music will be released until July 2007, when Album 3, Black Hollywood drops. Only singles are Black Hollywood and Soul Fever. Next release drops in March 2009. The fourth studio album named Stone and Rob caught on tape. And just in October 2009, Album 5 is released. Another heist with the singles. Another heist and son of a... Although, releasing not regularly, Camp Low always comes around with some dope music when they are ready to drop something new. Then in 2011, their first mixtape in collaboration with Pete Rock called 80 Blocks from Tiffany's is released. Two years later, part two is put out. In case you shouldn't know Pete Rock by his name and works, I guarantee you already bobbed your head to some of his music. Here are some of the hits that Pete Rock produced. Down with the King. Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, something like this. They reminisce over you. The world is yours. Heavy D, sex with you, got me waiting and black coffee. Common sense, the bitch in you. And as well for other legends like Big L, Bumpy Knuckles, Raekwon from Wu-Tang Clan, Screwball, and many, many more. In May 2015, they finally released their sixth studio album called Ragtime High Times with their only single, Cold Retarded. 2016 marks the year that Geechee Suede released his first ever solo album named 0.9 Nightlife FM. And just in December of 2016, Camp Low brings their compilation, On the Way Uptown, containing unreleased works and rare B-sides. Still in the same month, Geechee drops yet a new solo single named London Luton. The single is contained on his second solo album, Fishnet Skyscrapers from 2017. Main producer, Ski Beats will become the third official member of Camp Low. By the way, Ski Beats also produces a lot for Currency from Jetlife. I think a combo of Camp Low and Currency should be something to wish for. Maybe I can come up with a remix. Just a reminder, I have a playlist called Golden Era Remixes you should definitely check out. If you like this kind of documentaries, you can subscribe to this channel and like this video. You just can't imagine how much support that would be. Album 7, Get Down Brothers, drops in fall 2017. They even managed to put out their third mixtape in May of 2018 named Candyland Express. Just notice how continuously they started to drop releases in the 2010s. Incredible. But back to topic. Geechee's third solo album, Pinky Ring Espresso, drops either in October or August 2021. There are differences in the release date online, damn. Solo album four, Saphir Kitchen, is either released on November 3rd, 21, or on January 7th, 2022. You see, there are strange discrepancies here. If you got the accurate information about the release date, don't be shy to comment below. No matter how much you felt Camp Low was off your radar, they were never lazy and always stayed. I left you all the links to Camp Low's social media accounts and music. I hardly recommend you check in that. Geechee seems to be the way more productive one as you see in their catalogs. Sonny Chiba has released one solo album with the title Blackout and had one single named Can I Get a Light. His album came out in 1999, the single in 2021. Geechee in comparison has three solo LPs. Now it's sad to say, Camp Low never really were amongst the top money makers in the game. 
they should at least get their credits for originality and loyalty to each another and to themselves. And for their dope music. You can only respect that. They always stayed the same originals. They already were. Coming in the game. 95. To be exact, Camp Lo probably never gave a damn about record sales because their main focus making music was to deliver art from the soul. Down below in the info box, you'll find everything regarding Camp Lo. Social media, music videos, interviews. In the next video, we will take a close look into the life and career of the Brooklyn legend himself, Masta Ace. To not miss out, you can subscribe and activate the bell. Till next time. Peace out. Mo. Bugga. Bugga. Bugga.